I commend you on the clarity of the points that you've made about The Voice. You cite the Aboriginal bureaucracy called the National Indigenous Australians Agency. Now, Gerard, only recently on this program, I listed, I've got them in front of me here, over 50, over 50 taxpayer funded bodies which represent an Indigenous voice, Australian Indigenous Education Foundation, I won't go through the 50, the Australian Institute of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Studies, Australian Indigenous Minority Supply, there's 50 or more of them. I mean, is the National Indigenous Australians Agency not an adequate voice for Aborigines? Well, you would have thought so, Alan, uh, and it's, you know, that's that's the question. Why do we need another layer of bureaucracy? But this is more than just another layer of bureaucracy. And I think we've been hood, hoodwinked a bit and they're saying this isn't a third chamber. It's actually worse than a third chamber. It's actually a second executive. Now, you know, uh, Richard uh, 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 Richard Dreyfus, I think, sorry, I've got that wrong, but um, the AG Dreyfus said on uh, Sunday that the executive will have to go and seek, effectively seek permission from the voice mm. in, in order to make decisions. Mm. Now, that just can't be allowed to happen in a democracy. And it won't happen. It won't happen. That's one of the reasons this referendum will be beaten. And Anthony Albanese is putting his neck on the block here. And I'll tell you something, he's heading for an execution. Are you telling me, because I didn't check this out, that $1.89 billion dollars has been appropriated in the budget for this referendum, $1.89 billion. That's what I thought was in the National Indigenous um, Fund, that, uh, that agency. I, I, I was, my impression was it was about 75 to $100 million, but I, I stand to be corrected on that as well. But regardless, it's, it's a lot of money for something that is going to add, you know, if it was to get up, a, a, uh, yeah. a, a, a very dangerous weapon in the Constitution. Well, a race-based change will... to the Constitution was once called apartheid, wasn't it? I mean, they've just appointed, you made this seat. People like Gerard Rennick, if I could just say to my viewers, these people are saying things that we need to know and yet they are rarely heard. If you don't toe the line on the voice, you're racist. And we're not going to listen to anyone who actually thinks the vote should be no. Now, Gerard Rennick has pointed out as I did last week, that they've appointed a fellow as Australia's inaugural ambassador for First Nations people. Australia's inaugural ambassador for First Nations people. And Penny Wong has said that this fellow, Mr Mohammed, <clears throat> and I quote, will lead the Office of First Nations Engagement in the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, and that, quote, this new position ensures for the first time that Australia will have dedicated Indigenous representation in our international engage engagement. Gerard, you make the point that the national anthem says we are one and free. It's obviously we're not one. No, that's, that's right. I mean, why are we now having, I mean, it's bad enough to have a voice that divides people on race, but we're now having ambassadors that divide people on race as well. We're just the one nation. So what, why are we uh, pushing these views when we've got other more pressing issues to deal with? Yeah, and as you say, and this is the reason why a no vote is the only vote that will be satisfactory for the broader Australian community, because you say we shouldn't be divided by race in international relations. We shouldn't be divided by race in anything. But this is a race-based change to the Constitution. No more, no less. That's exactly right. And, you know, as my Senator Alex Antic asked in estimates, he wanted to know what the definition of an Aboriginal was. Uh, and he was accused of being racist himself for asking that question. Yes. So we don't even know the, the rules by which this voice will be set up. Uh, so, that you know, as I, I pose this ambiguously on principle, but it just worries me that once it gets in, it is going to, you know, lead to treaty mm -hmm. uh, and it will lead to a form, you know, oh. a threat, be a threat to property rights. Uh, so it, it'll just be the start of, yeah, a, of a further march. Litigation everywhere.